girl's petals. That was weird, right? Okay, instead of saying hi guys, I am committed to saying rose petals. I'm trying this whole year to say rose petals instead of saying hi guys because obviously my name is Rose and I feel like you guys are such a huge part of my life and I feel like you guys are part of my family. So you're like my petals and I don't know. It was kind of weird saying it at first. Like I've been trying to practice it, but it's going to sound a little off for a little bit but I don't know I just figured it would be something new for the new year and I just hey guys hey guys like everyone says hi guys and I wanted a new intro so I debated between saying hi rose petals hi my rose petals and hi petals or hi my petals let me know what you guys think which one you like better but I decided to record this look while I was getting ready for my other videos and I wanted to use the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette I was so excited when I received this in the mail I have loved Gwen Stefani forever me and my best friend used to be obsessed with Lamb and especially my best friend though um, but yeah I love Gwen Stefani she's always been a favorite of mine and so when she released this palette I was so so happy this palette screens Rosita because it has two full rows of neutral earth tones it has mattes it has shimmers the consistency of these shadows are so buttery soft they are so pigmented that black color that I used underneath my eye like I was blown away while I was using it this was the first time that I used it in my opinion this is one of Urban Decay's best palettes formula and color wise and packaging wise I think that these are a lot buttery and a lot creamier than the naked palettes but that's just my opinion I also like that you get round shadows because I just can't like do those little strips of shadows I don't know this just works for me and it has a gigantic mirror and I love the packaging they did such a great job on this one it's gold like gold and white how could you not love it I created this cut crease smoky smoked out lower lash line look a smoky eye and a red lip can seem a little intimidating but I promise that this red isn't intimidating at all this is the color pop lippy stick in click this is one of my favorite reds. It's that like orange toned red. It's so gorgeous. Like it's almost like a neon orange. I just love it. This lip color goes great with any hair color and it really brings out your teeth and your smile and really brings color to your face. So love this one and I love the formula. I'm again not really into the super super matte lips every single day so it's nice to switch it up and get like a nice moisturizing lip. My top is from Fashion Nova and my rings are from Aldo. I'm also wearing a couple of hair extension clips from luxury for princess I'll leave the info down below so yeah today's video is gonna be a voiceover because I know in my last video you guys enjoyed the music but you wanted to hear a voiceover so today's is gonna be a voiceover so if you'd like to see how I got this look then keep on watching I'm starting off by drinking some of my favorite drink from Starbucks and it's a Starbucks black tea lemonade extra sweet I always have one of these and then I'm jumping right into my brows I'm always using a pencil and I wanted to show you guys how my brows look filled in with powder and I'm using the Benefit Browsings and this is in the medium shade and I'm using an Anastasia number no. 7 brush which is my favorite brush for filling in brows with powder. I have a whole bunch of these for my clients because this is what I always use, this exact brush with different brow products. I really liked how my brows came out though with this Benefit product. I'm priming my eyes with MAC Prep and Prime extended eye base and I'm just applying this all over my lid and then I'm jumping right into the Gwen Stefani palette and I'm using the shade Anaheim and I'm using a Zoeva pencil brush this is their 230 Lux pencil and this one is part of their Entope collection but they do have a regular pencil brush and I'm just outlining my crease and I was trying to figure out what brush to use for this this was just my first time trying out this look um, and you know, I was happy with the results, but I definitely should have went in with something a little more detailed and a little bit smaller. And I should have really took my time outlining my crease because I wanted it to be a really cut crease. But again, I'm still practicing and this is just how it came out. You guys really liked how it looked, but me being a perfectionist, watching this clip is killing me because I feel like it's just a bit messy. I do kind of clean it up, but you'll see. Um, so then I'm just applying some eye base, so I know this is the second eye base that I'm using, but this is MAC uh, Soft Ochre or Painterly Paint Pot, and it's a cream eye base. The reason I'm applying this is to really clean up that line, 
and also because we're going to be applying a really glittery frosty shade uh, with this look I do suggest using um, maybe like a glitter glue if you're going to be using glitter so that it doesn't transfer onto that lower crease that we made since we're kind of faking our crease you want a really sticky eye base and this MAC one was kind of dried out so you'll see later on the glitter kind of gets everywhere now I'm mixing the colors uh, Anaheim and the color Punk, which is a really nice burgundy. And I'm using one of these brushes from Makeup Geek. This is probably one of my favorite new eye brushes. And this is the Makeup Geek Crease Brush, Define Crease Brush. And I'm just exactly what it says, defining my crease and just blending away. So I really like this color. It's like a dark brown and then I'm just cleaning up everything and then I'm blending with the Beauty by Rosita blending brush just a bit because I'm actually going to add more colors to it like more browns and then I'm going to add the color pop all over my lid and I'm using a Morphe brush and you really want to use something flat like this this is the Morphe E14 and I'm just packing that onto the lid and trying not to get on that brown color this is really going to make your eyes pop uh, one other thing that I noticed that I did, which was my mistake because I really wasn't like paying attention, was I made one of the eyelids l bigger than the other one, which can make your eye look smaller. So, like, you need to make sure they're even, but it's okay. I was just kind of testing out this look, and I figured I would turn on the camera while I was trying it out. I really didn't think I was going to post this, but I figured I would because you guys really liked it. I'm cleaning up that edge with some concealer, and then I'm back to blending with the Sigma E40 and also this one which is the Sigma yep actually no, I'm just using the Sigma E40 for this clip so I love this E40 it really blends everything out I love Sigma brushes I love like all brushes Zoeva, Sigma, Morphe, Luxie and now I'm applying some liquid liner and this is the Tom Ford eye definer this thing is so expensive but it hasn't dried out on me and it's been so cold here in New York that like any felt tip liners are just like drying up but this one hasn't so I'm super happy about that and I'm just giving myself a pretty dramatic wing it's a lot easier when you have this kind of eyeshadow technique because you can just follow the line and your wing liner is a lot easier you could also use tape for this look to really clean up that edge um, I'm gonna start using more tape in my videos because I don't know I feel like they just make your looks so much more clean and dramatic now I'm using the color blonde and I'm just popping this into my inner corners and also on my brow bone. And I love this Motives brush for my brow bone. I'll list it down below. It's really good. And then I'm using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Hydrating Primer all over my face because, again, my face has been so dehydrated. It was like 14 degrees and then the next day it was 40 degrees, so my skin has been acting up. And then I'm applying my Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer. I always have to use this. It changes my makeup game so much because it really fills in my pores I'm popping on some lashes these are by Lily lashes and these are mink and these are the style Kuwaits so these are their 3d lashes I love love Lily lashes if you are into lashes and you like dramatic lashes you will love Lily lashes they're reusable and again pricey but so dramatic I just oh, they're so pretty I mean look at them gorgeous they really transform the look then I'm using the Makeup Forever HD foundation and I'm using a beauty blender to just dab that all around. And I did uh, like one and a half layers of this foundation because on me it was just a little bit, it was like medium coverage and I wanted full coverage in some areas. And surprisingly this foundation dried a bit matte on me. Probably because my skin has been so dry it's like soaked it up. And then I'm using the new Makeup Forever HD concealer. Guys, I'm obsessed with this concealer. The hype is so real. Like, this concealer is so hydrating, so easily blendable, insane. Like, I use different colors every time, and I always love how it looks. I'm just so obsessed. They came out with correctors and concealers, and they're so hydrating, so blendable, so smooth. I'm telling you, you have to get this. If you have dry under eyes, this is going to be your savior. If you don't use eye cream... Girl, get you a hydrating under eye concealer because it makes a huge difference. Then I'm going in with this Pure Cosmetics Cream Contour Cameo Foundation. And this is in the shade Medium. And I'm just doing a little bit of quick cream contour. Nothing crazy. Um, 
I just feel like I have to take my time more. I just always feel like the pressure of filming. I'm like, okay, my battery's going to die. I have to get ready before the sun goes down. And there's so much pressure when you get ready on film. So right here, I'm like a little messy, but that's okay. We fix it. So I'm just blending that out. And um, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like when I do my makeup off camera, I really take my time and perfect everything. I'm able to get in my mirror really close. So I'm thinking of um, actually taking the mirror out of my background and putting some shelves there so I can have like a new background. What do you guys think? I'm setting my concealer with the Derma Blend setting powder in original. I saw Miriam use this and her face is always so flawless in person. So I saw her bake with it. So I'm like, mm, I gotta try it. And I've heard a lot of good things about Derma Blend. So I really like this. I have no flashback. It looks super, super nice in person. It's not as drying as a Laura Mercier translucent, I feel. I don't know, it's just a little creamier. But I still love my Laura Mercier translucent. Don't get me wrong. This is my new favorite brush. It's the Morphe E56. No, E58. It looked like a six. And I'm using MAC Refined Golden Powder. And I'm bronzing up and I'm contouring with this. This has some shimmer. So I know people stay away from this when they're contouring, but I didn't mind. I just, it's not really a contour. It's kind of just like a bronzy cheek. Um, because sometimes I just don't want that harsh, harsh contour. But putting the powder right underneath the contour like I am like brushing it off right now, that really gives you that strict, harsh line contour. If you're into that, try reverse baking underneath your contour. It really makes a difference. And then I'm applying some Milani blush. This is the Luminoso with my NARS Yaki Yo brush. And I love this blush. It's so simple. And I'm such a like blush girl. Lately, I haven't been wearing my blush as strong as I usually do. But I think I'm going to go back to wearing some strong blush. And then I'm using ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the color Click. Now, I've used this, I think, once one other time in a video. And you guys like fell in love. This goes with every hair color. But I just feel like with the black hair, oh my god, it is just so dang good. Like, it looks so... I don't know, like glam and just gorgeous. Like it really pops, especially with like a smoky eye and dark features. I love it. I think this would look great on any skin tone. Oh, I'm just obsessed with this color. It's the perfect color. I'm applying a little bit of Give Me Sun and then I'm applying some Benefit High Beam. I was trying this out for the first time again. Like I used to use this a long time ago, but I used to mix it in with my foundation. This time I tried using it as a like base for my highlight. And I don't know, I think it's just that my skin is a little dry, but I have to try some different techniques because it was a little bit hard to blend. I'm applying a lot of the Mirabella uh, Swirling Pearl highlights. I mentioned this in my favorite highlights video. This highlight is so underrated. I just feel like, why always go with the same highlights? Like, try something new. That highlight is so good and no one talks about it. Like, literally, if you look up reviews, Nobody uses it and it gives me the dewy look like makes my cheeks look wet. I love that I got it on Holt look one time and I want to buy like all of them I just did some tight lining with some black liner and I'm cleaning up any eyeshadow that I wanted to clean up And I use the Serena Tarantino black liner I'm contouring my nose with heroin from Illamasqua and I'm using an inglot brush and this is like a Kind of like a flat brush it's kind of weird i've never seen a brush like this it's like fluffy and fat and like wide it's the at 5 fs um and then i'm just blending everything out now i'm using this color which is called blackout from that urban decay palette and i'm using the same motives brush that i used for my brow bone and i am applying that underneath my eye heavily and this is just their Motives eyeshadow brush. I don't know why it doesn't have a name. It just says eyeshadow. But it's really stiff, so it really packs on that black. There was no fallout with this one. And I usually have a ton of fallout with black shadow. This had nothing. And look how intense that black is. Like, this would be perfect for, like, an Arabic-inspired um, makeup look, which I want to do. Um, which is just, like, a really smoky, smoky, colorful eye. I'm just applying some mascara, and this is L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black, one of my all-time favorite mascaras, and it's drugstore, so you can't beat that. And then I'm just applying some more liner just to really intensify that, make it a lot darker, and this is the NYC Liquid Liner in black. Uh, this stuff is like 3 to $5, and it's so black, and I just love it. It's, it's great to add on top of your liner to really intensify it. Then I'm going in with the Inglot Brow Gel, and this is in the color or number number 19 and I'm using the Zoeva brush that I always use for this step 
uh, the wing liner brush for my brows and I'm just intensifying them a little bit because my shadow and my eyes and my lips were very dramatic so I felt like I needed to just intensify my brows and make them a little bit longer a little bit darker I'm trying to play around with like darker brows which really scares me but I'm trying and then um, I'm cleaning that up cleaning that up with some concealer and I'm using the MAC concealer in NC20 I'm like almost out I'm seriously like scraping it I need to get a new one but they're always sold out of NC20 in my Mac store I don't know why and then I'm blending that out with this tart brush doesn't have a name it was part of a set but this blended out my concealer so well like I wish I knew which brush that was because it was great and then I'm applying some brow wiz in soft brown just to kind of um, give them a little bit more structure and then I'm just combing them out. I really like how my brows came out. They were also freshly threaded, so that always helps. Added some clear brow gel, and that's pretty much it. Nope, I'm lying. I added Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood because, girl, I always just keep on adding highlight because I love it. I feel like now everyone's on the highlight wave, but, girl, I always love the highlight, okay? I'm just saying. Um, and that's a Sigma brush. It's one of their new highlight brushes. Okay, now we're done. That's the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah. Bye, guys. I said guys. Damn it. Bye. Bye, guys.